Hi folks, Jackie here from jmccreates.blogspot.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live in Northern Ireland and this is today's project Today we are going to make da, 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 a coffee packet holder I've got six can't stand the stuff personally, can't even stand the smell of it but I bought them so as I could make a project with them and this is what I've come up with so I know I, I'm being I'm being pernickety and making sure they're all turned the wrong way <laughs> oh well I am who I am anyway simple straightforward perfect little gift that we're going to create today and today we're going to use petal passion papers and black card we're going to use the same die from the sunshine wishes um, the sentiment is from the petal palette sentiments and the die cuts are both from the petals and more thinlets so we're using the whole suite today okay so what we need we need four bits of card for this for our base you need a bit that is 8 and 3 quarters by 11 and 5 eighths I can't see it so how the heck could you be expected to see it Right, then for the lid you need a bit that is 7 and 3 eighths by 10 and 5 sixteenths for the two insert pieces you'll need two bits you'll need one bit that is 10 times 6 and one bit that is I think it's 7 7 get on there 7 yes 7 times 6 10 times 6 and 7 times 6 for these two bits which will be your insert dividers you're going to score your first one at a half so if we're to get in there one and a half a half one and a half I have to read my instructions because I can't see two and a half three two and a half and three four and five five and a half and six and a half five and a half and six and a half seven and a half eight and nine seven and a half eight and nine so a half, one and a half, two and a half, three, four, five, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight, nine, and that will be it. Then you will do your other insert piece and you will score it at one, one. Two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and six. So one, two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and six. Okay? So we'll just do all the scoring while we've got the scoreboard out. That's if I can find my other two pieces of card right. We'll do your base next. And you want to score all sides at one and a quarter and two and three quarters. This is a reinforced base. One and a quarter and two and three quarters. Okay, and you do that on all four sides. Now if you want it I had to use a piece of 12 by 12 for this which I don't mind so if you want it to use A4 
you could just do the single sides you wouldn't have to reinforce them and you could use A4 and I think your score then would be would be you want this one here so that one measures one and a half so one and a half would be your height on all sides okay so we're doing one and a quarter and two and three quarters on all four sides Today when I am filming in this, it is Easter Tuesday and my beautiful grandson Tyler has just gone, or TJ, has just gone home and my adopted grandson Tyler is going to turn up at one o'clock so I am trying to fill in this in between children but they are adorable and I do love them so much so, lid, score all sides at one and two, so this is a reinforced lid as well, one and two, and I did the other one with a contrasting lid, this one I'm just going to put papers on, the pale passion papers, and keep it all in black and white. I have to say, I do love a black and white. Black and white and black and pink. And that would be your lid. Okay. So, I've forgotten the bone folder. I will just lift it beneath here. And I'm just going to um, burnish all of those now. Okay. And then we're going to cut the three outer squares on each side away. I'm going to remove one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to go and cut them out and come back to you. Right, I've cut three out. I'm just going to do the last one. So you cut straight down those two score lines and cut those two away, cut the top one away and notch the sides. Okay, so that will leave you with that. Now this is going to be our lid, so I am going to put my papers on now while it is flat, okay, and then they can be drying before I glue it together, while I cut the other stuff and burnish it, okay, so this layer is six and an eighth by three and an eighth. Okay, and these ones are six and an eighth by three quarters. You need two of them. And you'll put them on there. Okay, your second one. So it's a lovely, miserable day today. It's as dull as ditch water. And then you'll need two pieces that are three and one eighths by three quarters of an inch. I'm sorry, I don't. Do you, I only use inches, I don't use centimetres at all. It's whatever one's used to, one uses. 
right and that will be your last bit okay so then we'll get glued in there and then the sides will come over but we want to let it dry a bit first so we are going to do the same thing to our base we are going to burnish it and cut cut the three outer squares away now as i said you don't have to use 12 by 12 paper and you don't have to use a reinforced box this card actually was strong enough to do it on its own but i'm a creature of habit and i like reinforced so that's what i do so i'll show you this one and then i'll stop and cut it all out and come back and show you the finished result because you don't need to sit and watch me cutting out you want to get to the nitty gritty stuff okay so cut them out cut away the three corners and notch the one that's left okay back in the tank right so we have them all the three outer squares cut away and that's our last piece of notching done and that leaves you with that these will come in and this will go over okay so we'll just put that together now so you put your glue and your four Hi folks, I'm sorry the blinking video cut out and I didn't realise and I've put the lid together. So all I did was glue it together, put the side bits in and then fold these bits over and that's your lid. I've also done this bit but I've cut some white card here that I'm going to show you what I did on it. So these are your pieces for your dividers. Okay. Um, so we scored this one was I forgot I cut that one that's the wrong one this one 10 by 6 and you scored it at 10 by 6 a half one and a half two and a half Three, four, five, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight. And nine okay and your other piece was seven by six and you score it at one two two and a half three and a half Did I go off there? I did. Three and a half. Four and a half. Five. And six. Okay. And you burnish them. Mountain. Mountain. Valley, valley, mountain, valley, valley, and mountain. Okay, and this one is valley, 
minded. Bali. Bali. Minden. Bali. Bali. Minden. Bali. Bali. And Minden. Okay. And these white bits here are all getting glued together. Okay, so just on the widest sections, you put your glue. Okay, so just stick them down. So that is going to be one, two, three. Okay. And you'll do the same in this bit, you'll glue the wide bits together. Right, and that will be your last ones. Now, there's a right way and a wrong way of putting them in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, this is the way. Right. So, we'll just take them out and show you. Put that in there. And then that one in there. Okay. And then your packets will go in one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's your SIGS divided coffee packet box. You put on your lid. This here is from the Sunshine Wishes Thinlets and I've die cut it three times in black card to make it dimensional. Okay, this these both these die cuts are from the Petals and More Thinlets and um, the sentiment is from Petal Palette stamp set. Okay. The paper is from the Petal Passion. So it's all the one sweet. Okay, and then I just added three little gems to finish it off. So I hope you like what I made. Sorry for the sorry for the mix up. Um I'd love it if you would give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd share. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you stopping by. Till next time. Jackie out.